VLOOKUP is a great tool to look up information in other tables. I used a very simple example. People get a bonus depending on their salary and on their seniority. So in this little table we made up the salaries in the left column and then depending on whether they are under five years of seniority or above it, they get different percentages for their bonus. And this column calculates that with fee lookup. You can also have multiple tables like this, depending on in which category you belong under five years, under 10 years, and then over 10 years. You can apply this to many kinds of situations. I did this for bonuses, but sometimes you want to do it for males versus females, different ethnicities, etc. I leave that up to you. Before we get started with VLOOKUP, I want you to know that there are a few surprises in these tables. First of all, this one. It calculates the seniority. I happen to do that by using the today's function minus the day we hired you, that is the number of days that you have been in this company, divided by 365.25, and then I take the integer version of it, because if you are 10 years with a company, or 10 and a half, it is still 10 and not 11. So we have to round it downwards. That is the int function. But there is another surprise in that cell. Where does that word years come from? I could have added that to the formula at the end, space, ampersand, space, and then the word years, literally. But then I can never calculate with this column anymore because it has become text. So you can never find the average of the seniority, etc. Not to mention standard deviation. So where does that word years comes from? It comes from the format of that cell. Right click format cells and then we will see that there I have chosen a custom format. Custom and I put in there zero and then double quotes the word years double quotes and it tells you here what it's going to look like. If I, I had done a zero dot zero, then I would get one decimal. In this case, I don't need a decimal. Why did I do that? To make sure that I can still calculate with that column. And later on in VLOOKUP, I can use that number 11 instead of the text 11 years. I did the same here in this cell. It has really the number 5 in it, as you can see. Where does the less than sign come from, etc. It is a formatting issue. It is the format custom, double quotes, less than, double quotes, and then the zero for the number, and then double quotes, years, double quotes. I did the same there, etc. So if I ever change the number here, if I make that seven, I just type seven, and it will automatically update to seven, less than seven years. This one is done with equals. So now the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP syntax is this. It needs to know the first argument, what is the value we are looking up, a certain salary, in which table. I will start with this one. What is the column number? This is column one, that is column two, and that is column three. And then the last argument I will explain soon. So what is in there, in that cell, this form. It says look up the value B2, which is the salary, in the table array H2 for I7, absolute. So when I copy that formula down later on, it will not change anymore. So I need the pound signs. And then the column index number, I don't know yet. Is it column 2 or column 3? So I need an if function there. If the seniority, which is a real number, as I told you, is less than 
this cell locked absolute then it's column two otherwise it's column three let's say you want to start that from scratch so i start the function vlookup <coughs> What is the lookup value? Salary. Don't lock it. It should change into B3, B4. The table array is this one. But make sure that you lock it by hitting the F4 key. Now H2 and I7 are locked. What is the column index number? <coughs> We need the if function. You can do that if you, you can type it, of course, but if you want a little more help, you go to this box here and choose the if function if it's there, otherwise go to more functions. If, if the seniority, not locked, is less than the number in I1 locked, F4, If that is true, it is column 2, otherwise the value is column 3. Notice that in this situation, this answer is free for the if function. It's column 3. But the total answer is 7%. How, how can I get back to VLOOKUP? Don't click on OK, for VLOOKUP is not finished yet. In the formula bar, click on the word VLOOKUP, and you will be back in VLOOKUP. And notice how this nicely put in there that if function. And now the last argument says, do you want an exact match? No, for certain people, do not have an exact match. 23,000 does not have an exact match. So we want to set that to set to true. The, the closest match in the previous value, in an ascending order. True or one which is the same as true, and we get 7%. We copy that formula downwards, and it should do a perfect job. Now we are going to do that for three separate tables. Sometimes you want that because there are scales that go a little farther than the others. But again, you could have done it this way. This time I am doing three of them. That means I have to say, sometimes I want to look in this table, sometimes in that table, sometimes in that one. So I need two if functions nested. The formula itself is not that complicated now anymore. We look up the value of the salary. Uh, it's always in column two, column two. Column two of that table, column two of that table. But now the surprise is in the table array function. So I click on if in the formula bar to find out if the seniority D2 is less than I12, this guy. Then it's clear we are looking in this range. If it's false, I need another if function. So I'm going to click on the second if function. If D2 is less than L12, then look in this table. Otherwise, look in that table. If you have a fourth one, it's clear that in this box, you would start instead a new if function. So if you have four tables, you need three if functions. If you have five tables, you need four. It's a little involved, but that's the price you pay for it. And you copy that formula down, and it will do a perfect job. So now to show you that everything is very dynamic, if I give the last person here, if I give the last person here a 70,000 salary then this will update to 13% and there to 16% because that person has more than 10 years. A similar story if I want to change the threshold. And it says, sorry, we are going to be a little stricter in this company. 10. And you will see that certain values will change here. If you need to know more about Excel or about scientific applications for Excel, I made for you a series of tools 
that have helped thousands of people to get more comfortable with Excel itself, with the programming language VBA in Excel, so you can automate things better. For Excel, if you have specific science, scientific issues such as uh, curve fitting, uh, regression analysis, statistical analysis, uh, and all that kind of issues. I made also two books that will help you for that purpose. And you can find all of that at genesispc.com.